60 fps ultra setting 1080p 200 pounds roughly about 250 dollars depending on the rate of exchange and i've been meaning to show you guys this video for the last two years so we're going to do this today coming up roll the intro Hey name tags and welcome this is Ash from Hill My Tech helping you go from newbie to techie. So before we continue remember to smash that like button and subscribe to the channel so you can be notified of future videos and also don't forget to enable the bell icon for notification. Thank you. Use gaming PC 1080p 60fps ultra setting. Okay disclaimer not on every single game not the latest and greatest but most of the games. So we're going to do this today free pass to this video first go through each of the components of the PC and tell you how and how much it cost me and how I got them. Number two, we're gonna see some actual footage gameplay with some hopefully some benchmarking and some graphics. And then number three, I'm gonna tell you my thoughts on whether you should do it similar if you want yourself a gaming PC, okay? First off, I need to disclaim, this PC as you see right now is not the PC I paid for and this does not cost 200 pounds right now because I've done some upgrades since then. But I will tell you what I got. When I went to buy this PC, I'm gonna take this panel off. The guy sold me the PC for 100 pounds. And what I got for 100 pounds was, I got the motherboard, the cooler, not this specific cooler, but another aftermarket cooler. I got the, there was a graphics card and the RAM, and then it came in a different case. Now I paid 65 pounds for all that combo. Since then, I have sold the case because it was a generic case. The case did come with all the fans and all the bells and whistles. I did not take his power supply because I thought his power supply was causing a whining noise. And also the, um, the disc I did not take because I thought the disc was not booting up properly. We tried a few tests. He told me it was working fine, but when we tested, there was some issues. So we bargained down from about £100 uh, to 65 pounds and 65 pounds is I got my conversion rate here 65 pounds is about uh, 86 dollars so for 86 dollars I had a processor which is the FX 6300 two sticks of RAM at 4 gigabyte each which was 8 gigabyte of DDL3 RAM 1600 megahertz I had a uh, aftermarket cooler I had the motherboard and I had a graphics card which was the HD 50 870 I can't remember 57 HD something but I've sold that since and I've actually sold this for 40 pounds to a guy who works for Microsoft he was desperate for a graphics card and I also sold the case for 10 pounds although the case was working so let me go through the parts with you right now now I did not account for this new case because this I had from before this is the fractal design r2 mini r2 something like this is featured in a few of my videos there are extra elements to this like i've got two strips of led lights and uh, later i'm going to show you later there are two corsair fans in the front okay these are things you don't actually need it does help with hair with airflow but if you did need to put fans you could put normal fans as well okay so we don't account for this case because like you know diy trying did do a video on how you can build a pc with actually no case so we can do without the case now uh, also right now i've got two discs one is the ssd which has got my windows os and one is the normal hard disk drive which is for the main storage got all the games on there initially i didn't have the ssd and like you know you don't need an ssd to play uh it will boot your os much faster and if you load some games on there but it's not necessary so also we do not account for the ssd and i had this disk already from before okay now i did not take his power supply because i thought his power supply was going to cause problems with the winding nose so I bought this one, this is the Aerocool 80 plus bronze certified. This is not modular, but it's doing the job. And I have not uh, overclocked this system yet, and it's working fine, but if you guys want me to overclock, then let me know. If this video does well, I probably will overclock this and we can test some further games, okay? Now, the aftermarket cooler, I had one on there uh, which he gave me but I didn't like it so I swapped it for this one which is probably an Arctic cooler it's, it's, it's like a 15 pounds uh, 18 dollars or 20 dollars cooler any cooler any aftermarket cooler is better than the stock cooler from AMD like you know okay um, right but the main piece de resistance is going to be this graphics card this is the uh, beast of a graphics card this is the GeForce GTX 970 and uh, this is from EVGA. I bought this used from eBay, cost me 130 pounds, 
plus about 15 pounds for the um, post station packaging, so altogether 145 pounds, which is almost 190 dollars. Now, I did buy this at the time where GPU mining was still a thing and the uh, prices for GPU was a bit high, so you may get this for much cheaper. I actually wanted a cheaper graphics card, uh, but I couldn't get it then. So, uh, but I'm okay with this. In fact, I forgot to mention before this GTX uh, 970, I actually had a HD 7950 uh, 3GB DDR5, but that did not work after a while. Again, I bought that used for 65 pounds and I sold it off. And uh, I did uh, you I did do this as a troubleshoot gaming PC. I'm going to put the link below. Okay. Right. So I hope I didn't forget nothing. So all in all, um, if you add the um, ultimate cost, the net cost, uh, this has cost me 200 pounds, which is about $266, uh, but $250 because at the time the exchange rate was different. So $250 for a sweet gaming PC, 1080p, 60fps, which is the perfect spot for most gamers. Now, granted, 4K gaming, uh, maybe not this system, you're going to have to look elsewhere, but that's not where the audience is, that's not what the intention is. Um, if you do want 4K, definitely you need to uh, look into more modern um, uh, hardware but here's my point 4k resolution even 60 fps and above um, texture details all that sometimes they're just a geeky term for you know us maybe I'm not even a PC elitist but they're geeky terms when it comes to gaming what's more important is the gameplay and the story and the immersion you you feel when you are in the game and so who cares you don't have an 120 fps and you're not playing on a 4k uh, monitor 1080p more than good enough so if you guys want to do this uh, you can do similar so let's now watch some actual footage with some benchmark and then after this I'm going to give you my thoughts okay time for some gameplay so I've just launched CPU Z want to quickly check the config so first off we've got the CPU and we've got the AMD FX 6300 this is not overclocked yet okay next we're gonna check the motherboard and we've got the gigabyte GA78 LMD USB 3 and then memory we've got 8 gigabyte of DDR3 RAM this is currently running at 1600 megahertz this is not overclocked as well I don't think I can overclock this one I'm not sure and then lastly we're going to check the graphics we've got the uh, GeForce Nvidia GTX 970 the beast of a card okay now let's do some gameplay first off we are going to be Launching uh, what game are we playing Aiden? We're loading up Tomb Raider the original Tomb Raider not the um, rise of the Tomb Raider and uh, Let's put some ultra settings on there What we got? Ultimate yeah, okay, so we're doing ultimate Tomb Raider the first one let's load this up That's what happens <laughs> Oh, this is the escape scene, yeah? Now, we. This is just a cutscene, isn't it? So we've got a solid 60 FPS right now. And uh, it's. Uh, right, 60 FPS. Smooth, standard, 60 FPS. Cool. Come on. Are we really doing that? We're just pressing buttons. Come on. Yeah, baby. Yeah, it's fine. Okay. Now we're doing Ultra. Yeah? For Shadow of Mordor. Okay, let's launch. Okay. Alright, solid. Way over 60 FPS so far. This is an ultra. Woo! It's bloody. Oh.
nasty. Okay, I'm gonna stop this here. Come on, guys, I wanna see some ultimates, yeah? Make this a better one. Yeah, I want to see some ultimates. Is that super god? <laughs> Still 60 FPS solid. Come on, I want to see some ultimates. Well, we got a smooth 60 FPS throw, so really happy. Come on, let's do some gameplay. Come on, come on. Go all out. Go all out. Stop spamming. <laughs> Goku's getting beats. Whoa! Wicked! <laughs> so three of these idiots are playing Rohala. And everyone's using a controller. One controller. Two controller. And three controller. And there we go. So three of them to the back of my stand. So next up we've got Hitman Absolution on Ultra setting. Come on Aiden, let's do some gameplay. Aiden, there's not much happening in these scenes, is there? Can, can you, when you go in, I want you to go gun blazing, yeah? Not just now. Go gun blazing, I want to see the FPS. Now for now we've got a 60 FPS solid, which is good. Whack him and go in and gun blazing, yeah? I want to see. I mean, just get rid of him and then go in gun blazing. I want to see the FPS. Okay. Do win. This is Hitman. Loud assassin. Go on. Loud assassin. Get your gun out and go. No, run, 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 run. I want you to run. Run. Yeah. Start whacking. Start whacking. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom. Oh, you suck. Yeah, it's still 60 FPS. Yeah, you died on 60 FPS. <laughs> okay, next up we've got Batman Arkham Knight. Well, this game was a really bad port for the PC platform, so it doesn't matter what kind of configuration you have, you're not gonna get 60 FPS, I'm assuming, I'm not sure. Uh, but we did a test on this, come on, let's uh, roll it. And I think we got a minimum dip of 24 FPS on kind of normal setting, high, uh, not high, so normal, medium. Um, I don't wanna push this one, because I'm scared might break the PC, but I'm not too sure. But we'll see what happens right now. I mean, right now it's showing 60 FPS, but I'm guessing on the scene where the the um the Batmobile, yeah, that's quite an intensive scene and it doesn't do very well on that scene. Probably 24 FPS would be the minimum, but average was well over 30. 
Okay, so now I'm gonna give you some thoughts on all this uh, while I put this side panel back. Looks really cool, um, you know. Obviously not the most pimped out PC, but it's all right. Okay, now should you do similar? My advice is this, if you're gonna be building a lot of PCs, I don't advise you go through this route to go look for a combo uh, semi PC and then look for individual parts and then you know uh, build it up and then uh, do this for every single time. This is a very long winded method, okay? And you may not be as lucky as I am to get these parts. I mean, the guy who sold me this whole PC in the first place, uh, I mean, to get a FX6300 and a motherboard and an aftermarket cooler and eight gigabytes of DDR3 RAM and a graphics card, although it was a HD 5780, 5790, I can't remember, that for 65 pounds, which is what in, in dollars, is about $86. This is fantastic with a case, which came with the fans and it was a gaming case. It wasn't bad, I just didn't like it. That, that's, that's, that's really cool. However, you will find these deals every now and then. You need to keep looking, okay? The other thing as well, I mean, the GTX 970 is still really good at 1480p gaming. So the guy who sold me just probably wanted to upgrade to the 10 series. And I, I hear probably the 11 series coming out soon. But if you're not into the latest and which is not always the greatest, use the used market, the 1080p gaming, is very very affordable and and now since the gpu pricing probably has gone down after the gpu mining issue um then it is still really a, a decent kind of value proposition to be doing this uh looking on things like gumtree um, craigslist and ebay i think you will find decent stuff so um i hope you've enjoyed this video uh, if you like this kind of stuff let me know in the comment section below and if this video does well I am willing to, number one, get a lot more demanding recent titles and try to push the system and also we'll try to overclock it. And number two, I'm willing to start uh, doing a lot more gaming stuff if you want to see this kind of stuff, especially looking for deals on the used market and see what kind of configuration we can still get to give us decent gaming, okay? Thank you so much for watching. You know what to do down below. Leave me a like, leave me a comment, and also consider subscribing and enable the bell notification icon so you can be notified of future videos. As always, this was Ash from Hill My Tech helping you go from newbie to techie. Until next time, peace out.